Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Johan and today I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I've been buying over the last few weeks. I featured them in hauls and I just wanted to show you them in action. So if you like that type of thing, don't forget to give this video a like and do subscribe to my channel because it really helps. So last few weeks I've done quite a few hauls so I thought I'd just do like a sit down casual video with you and just show you some of the things in action. So I've got my base makeup on. It's really nice because it the days are obviously longer now and the weather's quite nice in the UK so I've been able to film a bit later. I took the week off filming because I was just ex really tired. I've started a new job and um, lots of things going on so I was just so tired and I thought you know what I'm just going to give myself a week off from filming and I'm really glad I did. So um, let me show you some of the products anyway. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is this collection um, multi-use illuminator primer. So I guess they say it's multi-use because you could use it on your body, but you can use it on your face as well, and that's how I've seen it used. So it's th this one here, and I got it in the colour 3, which it doesn't tell you which one it is. It's medium, 3 medium. They've got one deeper than this, and I think they've got two lighter than this. So let me just put it on my face so you can see what it does. And um, what it does is it's meant to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury product which is similar which is like a soft focus under your skin look so let me put that on and see so it's got like this big doe foot applicator my children are playing in the garden i'm not sure if you can hear them at all but um they're playing on the trampoline so they're screaming a lot but hopefully you won't be able to hear them so as you can see it looks quite orangey on the, the face and i'm just gonna put it on my skin and I'm going to use a brush, a little Techniques brush, this old school brush that I've got here. And it just creates a really nice soft focus on the skin and it looks a bit orange but um, in person you can't really, really see that. It just gives you a highlight under your skin, a bit like the Glossier Future Dew. Um, but um, with some colour on it, so it has got a slight tint, so you could, like both products, you could just put this on and walk out. This, however, does have really fine glitter in it, so when you swatch it, if you do go and swatch this in the store, in Boots, I think they said in Boots and Superdrug, that if you go and swatch it, you will see glitter on the back of your hand, but on the face and day to day, it doesn't translate like that, so when the sun hits your face, it doesn't sparkle everywhere. It just looks quite nice under the skin. And I think that gives like a nice, you can see here, it's giving it a nice kind of glow. It doesn't cover anything. It's literally just something to put on your face under your foundation. So that's the first product. So I do like this. Um, it doesn't make me feel any oilier. So I have oily skin for reference. And it's kind of, it's not really that moisturizing to be honest. Um, it's not oily at all, greasy feeling. So if you've got dry skin, you'll definitely want to put good moisturiser underneath using this. If you've got oily skin like me, you should be fine. So the next thing that I bought was the NARS Skin Tint. Is this it? Pure Radiant Skin Tint, which is this one here. This isn't necessarily a new product. It's something I've wanted to try for ages. And I bought it in SPF 30 and I bought it in the wrong colour. So it's, it is, I think, at least one shade or half a shade too deep for me. But I am going on holiday this summer. I'm so glad. Um, at some point I'm travelling so my skin is going to change anyway so this will probably be a perfect summer colour and take me into autumn. Yeah, as the sun comes out in the UK too I'll probably get a bit of a tan too so this will should be okay here and it's the Medium Deep One Santiago so I think I need at least the shade or one shade up but let me show you this one anyway so this it comes in just a small squeezy bottle and the consistency is quite it's thick ish so it's like a tinted moisturizer basically and as per usual i like to work in really thin layers this is a technique that i've kind of always done but a technique that was sort of um confirmed to me by people like lisa eldridge who also like to work in really thin layers i prefer to like work in really thin layers and then build up where i need to so i'm just going to put a bit of that on my face If you look at it here, it doesn't look like it's too deep for me. It's only when I compare it to my neck. And um, my neck is a little bit paler than my face at the moment. This summer, I really must remember to make sure I'm wearing a big hat when I 
go out to prevent that whole face neck discolor like discolor it's really annoying so this is the skin tint on my face i love the way it sits i think it's really nice so i do definitely want to get it in one shade or half a shade lighter for all year round and keep this one for the summer but i just think again it's just very skin like which is a type of foundation i like to wear my favorite is the glossier skin tint as i've talked about many times just for ease so something you can put on and you know it's going to look good my other favorite would probably be something like the trini london um bbf cream which is something similar as well slightly thicker definitely great if you've got dry skin the the trini london one um, but this gives a really nice finish and it is quite long lasting and it's got SPF 30 in so I really enjoy this product. It sits really nicely on my face. I'm really quite lucky at the moment. The, the skincare routine I'm doing at the moment, have I, I don't have texture on my skin. I'm so, I'm really enjoying how my skin's looking at the moment. So I'm looking forward to when I do go back to my dermatologist in July to tell her like what she's, the routine she's put in the moment is working it's really well. So... I think at the moment this is really good for me. I really like the the way it sits. Um, it doesn't feel tacky on the skin. It feels slightly moisturising. Um, yeah, I think it's really good. So I think this one is definitely one to pick up. The NARS Skin Tints this looks like in practice. I, I've worn it all day before and for my skin it's oily so it doesn't last necessarily the whole day for about eight to nine hours that kind of thing is something you might want to top up but for a really easy just throw on and go foundation product i would recommend this because it also has spf in it as well so one of the things i mentioned before in one of my videos is the elf putty range i've got the elf putty um primer which i do like i don't use it that often but it it's fine and then i've got this elf putty bronzer i've also got one of their blushes as well in orange color in bahamas but i thought i enjoyed the blush so much let me pick up the putty bronzer and i picked this up in the color bell and it looks really dark in the pan it's quite deep so it's like this and there is one deeper than this as well which is really good i'm not sure how many how light it goes but there's definitely one deeper and i've obviously seen one lighter than this too and I'm going to show you what this looks like on the skin because it looks quite intimidating but actually it looks really good I think as a bronzer so let me show you what it looks like on the texture again a bit like um the blush is definitely if I rub it in here it's definitely a powder sort of finish so although it, it blends in and goes in like a cream it's definitely dry touch and turns into almost a powder finish on the skin which is good because cream products very often can slip and slide but this actually really does stick and lock into place so let me show you how i use this one i'm going to use a flat top brush for this like a domed flat top brush like this and i just take it put a bit on here so you have to like kind of work it in to pick it up as well because it does have that sort of dry texture when it's touch the different surface so you have to work it in a bit and then I'm just going to put it so you can see the my face like this so it can look quite intimidating <laughs> and then you have to blend it in it's definitely different to things like Glossier Solar Paint that have a like a shimmer glow to it um, but this I think see like if you look here it just warms up the skin but it's not in a it looks like it's going to be quite intimidating like in a in a dirty way but i think it looks really nice as long as you blend it in and you make it seamless to your skin which you can because it's that kind of um cream product and then it just dries down let's put a little bit more on so there's the bronzer on it's definitely like warmed up my face it's de it's one that you could go overboard on um, but you could just keep blending out, but you could definitely go too overboard on this. So you have to be careful when you do apply. But I, I really like this putty range. I really like the other, I'd like to try the other blushes. I'm buying them from ASOS because ASOS do 20% off every self done. So I'm buying them from ASOS. They're quite inexpensive anyway. I think they're about six pounds, but if you can get money off them, why not? Um, but I would love to try some of the other colours in the putty range. I think this, this range would be especially protect, particularly good to take on holiday because they're small and compact. Um, just like the Glossier Cloud Paints, they come in very similar colour to those as well. So if you are somebody who 
doesn't necessarily get on with the cloud paints or you find that they move from your skin way too quickly I would recommend these as an inexpensive alternative similar colors and give a quite a nice finish as well and will stick to the skin so as I've mentioned the putty range there is this putty blush that I bought as well maybe a week or two before I bought the bronzer which is this one here very similar consistency again it's that kind of putty it's not actually putty it's like a cream pow cream to powder finish so I bought the colour Bahamas, which I really love. It's like an orange coral colour, which I think really works in the summer. I think it looks really pretty on the skin. So I'm going to show you what that looks like on now. I'm going to take a small round dome brush by Zoeva. It's the face brush. Put a bit on there and just add it to sort of the higher points of my cheeks. Use it as a kind of blush contour slash, I don't know, bronze, I guess. Just where the sun hits and where I would normally flush. And it's really easy to blend in with the skin and make it quite seamless, this stuff, which I really like. You do need to use more than you think, though, to get it on the skin. So really swirl the brush, or if you're using your fingers, really rub it between your fingers to really get it in there. A little bit on my nose. And that's how I would use this. So. You can see it's got like a really quite a nice orange coral effect on the face. I really like this brush. I think it's really nice. Um, I think it's it's one of my favourites and I will be taking this away with me just because it does. It lasts a really long time on my skin as well. And what I have also been doing is just doubling this up as um, a eyeshadow too. So what I do is take a little bit of this on here and I just put it in the sort of aim for more of the creases of my eyes and just across the eyeshadow across the eyelid, sorry, just as, an, as a quick eyeshadow look as well when I'm wearing this. It just pairs everything up and just kind of makes cheeks, eyes, where you would usually flush and where colour would go, it just adds it all together, so I really like that too. Brows, I don't have anything new, I'm just going to use my boy brow, just brush that through my brows quickly, there you go. Which is perfect. And then another thing for cheeks actually, I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm, which I was quite late to this, which is this one here. So it's a really classic old school NARS blush. And I was quite late to this and it's got a shimmer. It's like a pink gold shift in it. It's really beautiful if you haven't tried it before. I prefer this one. The one that's like, I think like the extreme one is got too much glitter in for me. But this one means that you can blush and highlight all in one. You don't really have to highlight if you don't want to. But I really love this blush. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my cheeks. I'm going to use a flat top brush again. And just put a bit here just to get a bit of pink and the shimmer into my cheeks as well. Which, there you go. So I just like to add that in person. It just it adds a nice flush to the face. And then with my eyelashes, I'm keeping with the same mascara I have been for a long time. This Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I haven't found anything that I like as much yet. I haven't tried anything else, to be honest, but nobody's suggesting anything else. It's this one here with this plastic wand. I think it's one of the best mascaras Maybelline have ever made. And I'm just going to put just a little light layer of that on. Generally, day to day, I don't always tend to wear mascara. It's just my least favourite thing to take off at night time, and that's the only reason why. Some people I know just feel like they need to wear mascara every day to open up their eyes, which is fine. You know, I just hate taking off mascara. I just hate wiping around my eyes and doing all that stuff. So um, I tend not to wear mascara every day unless I really, really feel like it, to be honest. But because I'm working part-time, I probably wear it more than I well, more than I usually would because I know okay, in a few couple of days a week or whatever, I'll wear mascara. But um, in general, general, I don't really wear mascara. So that's what I'm doing for mascara at the moment. And then for lips, I'm doing this kind of new combo, a, new, a mix of new and mixed mix of old, to be honest, combo. So I'm taking this Revlon Colour Stay Moisture Stain, which is this one, and it's quite a deep colour. It is in 005, which is that one here, and it's this tube there, and it's got a doe foot applicator. It's a really dark plum, but when you put it on, you can really rub it into the lips and make it as a stain. So that's what I do first. So I'll put a little bit here, a little bit there. And just really rub it into my lips and then it will create a stain which is good so it will last a few hours 
you don't have to think about applying it or when you're eating or drinking you don't have to think about that at all and this plum color it's a little bit unusual for the spring summer time to use plums but i think it works really nice with the kind of bronzy look so this is why i've enjoyed, been enjoying wearing that together and then what i'm going to use on top is one of the newer products that i showed you this one here this is by revolution and it's their lip oil in apricot it smells like those fake sweets it's really nice and it's just like a doe for applicator it's a bit of a dupe for the ysl or the your lip oils I, can't, I still can't remember which one it is and then i just put that on top to give myself that sheen and it feels really nice as well on the lips as well you can wear this plain it said it's got a slight tint it doesn't really it comes across as quite clear on the lips but it, it, it's a nice lip oil nice lip topper and that's really some of the products that i've been using and the last product actually that i bought is this super fix super hold misting spray by revlon and i bought this so when i've got a long day particularly when i'm walking around town and things like that so on monday i was walking around town a lot with somebody and it was quite a hot day so i put this on and it really locks your makeup into place i wouldn't wear this all the time just because it it doesn't suit my skin goals to have a fixing spray on every day i like to top up my sunscreen and also i don't know how great this is for to be on my skin every day but for occasion occasional wear or occasion wear special things like that i think this is fine as every so often so i'm gonna put this on and surprisingly the mist is really fine and really lovely even though it's an aerosol can it's a bit like the sort of thermal water sprays you get from Evian and Avian and that kind of thing um, and La Roche-Posay do them and it's just like a really fine mist so I'm just going to put that across my face and this will lock my makeup in all day so if I'm going to work this will and I'm walking around a lot it will last for the, the whole working day obviously there'll be a little bit of breakdown as my oils come through so that it doesn't stop the oils your oils if you if you've got oily skin will definitely break through but it will just take that a little bit longer you would take, need to do a little bit less powdering and it's really convenient and what I do is I just leave it on my skin for it to dry naturally so it does look a little bit shiny at first but then it will dry down mats as you expect so this is my face of makeup with some of the new things i've bought recently let me bring you in a bit closer you can just see so i think the blush and the bronzer and all that kind of thing sits really well on my skin i really like the look again it's that glowy natural finish which i really really like it's that glowy natural finish that i really really like i really really enjoy it on my skin and face to face it just it's really easy makeup to put on you can put on in five minutes what i really want to get my hands on now is the jones road the bobby brown makeup the uh, make bobby brown makeup artist her new range i really want to get my hands on the jones road foundation i know it's been getting a lot of bad press on tiktok because there's lots of people not using it properly and real makeup artists and makeup lovers are coming forward defending the product and showing how it should be used and when you see how it should be used it looks absolutely beautiful on the skin it's exactly the kind of skin makeup that i love that kind of really sheer evening out of color that kind of thing so it's all that makeup that i i love to use and then you can then spot conceal on top if you need to that's what i like to do on the base so i really want to get my hands on that i checked on the website today and i think it might either only be launched as pr at the moment uh, or just in the us so as soon as it comes out in the uk i'm going to get my hands on that skin makeup as well but let me know if you've tried anything else new let me know if there's anything that i've used today that you think you're quite interested in or you've used before and you've got some experience with it or any tips with anything i've, I've mentioned today and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Feel like falling deeper.